tell you, this is a child. You boy. He might take after his uncle Mike a little bit. Maybe so. <laughs> well, Mike said he was an eight car kid. Hello, Miss Bella. This your uncle Mike. You're so grown up. Hello, Master Baron. Good to meet you. How's Miss Bella? She's so grown up. And you, you look like a grown up lady. You look like a mom. And I tell you, this is a child. I bet you keep them in line. Don't even follow us. Thank you, sir. I remember the best thing for you. We're about half the size. She shot up, hadn't she? You are so gorgeous. I am. I'm telling you, I'm the proudest grandma. I have some wonderful, beautiful children. Hey, Brooke. That's your cousin Asher. Hey, Baron, what are Baron? You? Hey, how are you? Hey. Hey. Say hi to Bayla. What's your name? Appreciate your service to our country. So they had to resign. So he's filling in our church. Very nice to Looking at the Right. That's what I did. Yeah. She needs that. Like, it's great that you can do that. It, it, it sounds funny, but I mean, hey, Baylon. My, my responsibility is like reaching stuff for her, opening stuff for her. Yeah. Thank you. Say hello, you're on video.
Whereas Geneva Acord grew up to be the exceptional piano teacher and taught a countless number of young adults and children how to play the piano and organ and continues to share her gift of music, serving as the pianist and co-leader of the Dexter Senior Choir. And whereas a devoted wife, Geneva Acord was blessed to have spent 50 years with her husband, the late Charles Chuck Acord, and was blessed to find love once again with her second husband, the late Lawrence Fee. And whereas a loving mother and outstanding homemaker, Geneva Acord raised three children, Charles Mike Acord, Patty and Gail Joseph, and has been blessed with seven grandchildren, 13 great grands, and three great great, or let's see, 13 great grands and three great great grands. And whereas now 90 years young, Geneva faces the beginning of each day with renewed hope and happiness and continues to lead a good life, sharing her gift of music with others and is a shining testament to the strength of her faith in the Lord she has served for over 75 years. And I just have to tell you that you... This is one of my ex piano students. Yeah. <laughs> that you made a huge difference in my life. That's cool. I mean, That's total cool. difference. That's pretty I don't know where I'd be without you. Well, you've made some difference. Billy Pack was here with me at my 80th. Now he's back at 90. So we may see him. Yes, we've been 100. I can't believe it's been that long. I can't either. But we plan on being here for your 100. But okay. we're going to call us all home. I hope he does. I mean, when he does. Okay. Not, not, I told him not yet to get this resolution presented. Okay, so everybody's ready for pictures? I think we'll get a smile. Great. Don't ever get old. <laughs> she wants to hear your speech again. What's your speech? Don't ever give up and put your crown down. Your tiara is crooked. <laughs> Mine's crooked. Yeah, you have straight. Well, sometimes tiara. I'm crooked. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Okay, there it is. Now it's on. It's on. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. And the taxi. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how we all got in that taxi cab. I woke up this morning feeling fine. I woke up with heaven on my mind. I woke up with joy in my soul. For I knew who my Lord had control. Well, I knew I was walking in the light. For I'd been on my knees in the night. And I prayed till the Lord gave a sign. <laughs> this dog never takes pictures. Well, have it. Thank you. Hey, be sure you get her picture in that rocking chair over there by her flower. <laughs> For another. So we get ready to go by. We should have held off. They have so much work to do. That I didn't think about. They had done nothing to the house. They're not going to fix this yeah. tea on the reef. They, they, they put in the box over the preacher. The preacher wants to get out. I think he was doing better. 